everyone this is Richard from our vision graphics here and today we are going to go through a tutorial on how to create a simple Mother's Day flyer like this in Photoshop we select new and we name our file according to our preference so since it's a Mother's Day flower flyer I'm going to type here mother mother and for the dimensions width is going to be set to 5 height to 5 and what have you everything in that order in this order resolution to 300 and all so begin to create yes so once we arrive at this page we are going to start to import images for the background first image for the background will be this image Once we have this image, we are going to go ahead to introduce this image as well. Good. So after we have this image, for tutorial sake, to get images into our Photoshop, we can either drag them in or click on file, place embedded and look for the file location of the images we want to import and place them. All right. So once we have this here, I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay. Let me see soft light. I think the overlay is okay. Overlay. And I'm going to click on the mask and take away these parts. But as you can see, the size of the brush is too small. So we click, we hit on the right, uh, right square brackets to increase the size the hardness is too much for my liking so we drop down the hardness to zero and we begin to and we begin to brush off these parts so don't forget to like and subscribe after these parts are brushed off after these parts are brushed off we position the image somewhere like this and we go ahead to click on the first and the second image or by controlling by holding control and still on control we press control g to create a group and we name it bg indicating background good after we achieve something like this we move ahead to introduce the images for the flyer so we are going to select this image that is going to be used for the flyer. Once you have this image in here, we press Ctrl J to duplicate it. So we have two copies of the image. We turn off this layer and we go ahead to select the subject. Don't forget to like and subscribe. The selection per my preference. I want these parts of the images to be selected as well. That's I think the sofa. So I'm going to move ahead to select the a quick selection tool and extend the selection like this once i'm done ex extending the selection i hit on the layer mask right here and it takes off the background and i enable the first background that was disabled and i go ahead to introduce a layer mask again and I hit on my gradient. Make sure the gradient you have is selected the, the one in the middle. So once you have that, you go ahead to drop the gradient on the image like this. So once we have this, we go ahead to select both images, press Ctrl J and we name it model just for reference sake so we know what we are getting into all right so we move these two slightly down like this so we don't we don't mistakenly move them around while working on our flyer we click on this to lock them don't forget so, so once like they are subscribe. locked they can be moved and we can go ahead to work on other parts of the flyer good so once we have this we are going to import the image the logo of the company i'm working with that's a uh, framevic opticals yes 
So here we go. That's some of them. For you like to introduce. So we would like to introduce the name the uh, the maddest font here. No, it should be in yes so mothers and we change the size to 50 51.35 51.35 and we'll go ahead to position it to get it in the exact center we click on the image we press ctrl a to select everything and we click on this to get it in the exact center perfect so once we have it in the exact center, I like to move down this image a bit, the model. So we unlock it and we move it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Slightly lower, lower the font, like so. Perfect. So we go ahead to lock it again and we have the modest font introduced. So we introduce this font another font again and we type in here happy and here we go we change the type of font from our nevrada to cadre okay you i don't know if this is the right pronunciation cadre yes so for this two we change the type the size from the size to 25.61 nice one so once we achieve something like this we go ahead to position it somewhere here perfect once we have all this we are going to go ahead to type in day so once you have happy mothers it has to be day as well so day day and i'll change the type of font to autography autography like this don't Perfect. forget to like and subscribe so once we have our fonts we position it somewhere here good i like to tweak one or two things about the modest font so what i'll i'll do here is click on the fx layer style and i change the gradients but before the gradient overlay you are going to click on the color overlay to get it fixed and move ahead with the gradient overlay so with the gradient overlay in photoshop 2025 you can go you can scroll down to orange and you select this so this is the overlay i'm using and if you care to find the numbers this is the first one for the gradients and this is the second one this is the second one you can pause the video and save it all right so once we have all this introduced we are going to link the frame vic with the wish wishes you and we change it to montserrat Montserrat regular. Good. And we introduce we introduce the spacing. So we make the spacings way bigger. And I think it's too big for my liking. I mean the size of the font. So we make it slightly smaller. Eight is good. And we introduce a line here to connect it from the frame vic logo to the font to make sure the line is perfectly straight you hold shift when you are drawing the line to get a straight line like this perfect so here you have your straight line and you can adjust it like this and mind you this is also perfectly aligned with the mother font so we make sure our project comes out perfectly all right so once we don't achieve forget something like, like this, and subscribe we go ahead to introduce more tweaks but as at this stage i like to name my layer so i can make reference when 
I need to adjust it. It's, it's always relevant to make um, name your layers. So we name this logo and we group the happy mothers and the day fonts all together. This one and this one. Press it and select all. So we press Ctrl G to group them and name it fonts or something. Something you can make reference to in case you need it. All right. So this is wishes and this is and name it wish. Perfect. So once we achieve something like this, we move ahead to draw a square, a rectangle, sorry, a rectangle and we change the fill color to white and the stroke is disabled, it's disabled here. Have this, we introduce this image. All these images I'm using for the project will be added in the link in the description so you can use it for practicals in your project as well. So once we have this, I'm going to clip it inside the square below here. So to click it, to clip it, sorry, we, we select, we make sure this image is selected and we press Alt. So once you press Alt in between these images, you are going to get something like this and we press click, we click it. Yes, we now have it clipped, but I introduce a layer mask to delete these parts. To get the brush to look this way, to change it from this way to this way, just press on the caps lock and you get that. All right, so now we have this. I like to duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J. We have another copy and we press Ctrl T and we change the positioning and we clip it as well. So, the same process we clip this and we are good to go. I like to bring down this image like so once we arrive here i'm going to take down the fill it's too busy for my liking so i'll just take down the fill slightly like say 60 and i adjust this so from the images that was clipped into the rectangle i select or and press ctrl g and rename them as lower rectangle or something like that lower lower rect or to be easily accessible introduce features that is going to make it more lively so i go ahead to introduce this love icon and we delete the SSS. so once we delete it we get something like this we scale it down like this and we put it somewhere like this good Good. So after these tweaks, I like to change the change it by pressing selecting on it, pressing filter, blur, and motion blur. Once I select motion blur, I change it, I intensify it to make it look as if the the love is in motion, like this. This is too much. Perfect. So once we get something like this, we we'll go ahead to introduce this effect too. So the relevance of this effect is to create something like an airy effect from behind that is blowing love. So once we have this here, I'm going to bring it below the model, below the model, but above the below the model, but above the background. Good. in between the model and the, the model and the background so once we have it here we change the overlay we change the blending mode to overlay we change the blending mode to overlay and we shift it a bit of course you can see that there are parts that we would like to get rid of so we select it and we select the layer mask and we move go ahead to introduce our brush the brush is on the soft round brush and the hardness is set to zero so we brush off these SSS and make sure everything is perfect so like this so if you look at the image it looks as if the air behind is blowing the love from behind and it makes it, it makes it look, look beautiful all right so if you can see the trajectory of 
the flyer everything here the theme of the flyer is to be pink is to be orange sorry and the color of framevic the company i'm working with also is pink it's is orange why do i keep saying pink so we select this and we click on this one and we select hue and saturation for hue and saturation the whole idea is to change a few colors here so once you tweak it every color on the flyer is going to be changed which we don't like it's like that so you click on this particular icon to clip it to just the love icon so here every tweak we make goes to just the love icon so we tweak it and make it a bit orange so this is the before and this is the after we change the color to this perfect so once we are we achieve something like this we go ahead to add the number of the company i'm working for this is their number I don't have their number of head but I'm going to go ahead to type in my number so here I introduce my fonts to get this in the exact center you click on it and you press ctrl e to select or you press this and it's in the exact center you can take it higher a bit and I type in the number it is too much so we bring down the spacing and we change the color to white change the color to white like so it should be in medium is, is okay so Montserrat medium is the font I used and because it's a core number we are going to introduce this logo as well we click and remove the background remove the background press control T to transform it and we scale it down and position it somewhere here somewhere here and we are good I think it should be like this okay but I would still like to change the color of the core logo so once it's selected we select on it we click on it and we change the overlay from here we change this to white even after it's changed to white you see there's no the effect doesn't take place because the blending mode is on dark yet so we change it to normal and we have it transformed here we added the gradient that was added to the font initially so we click on the gradient and we have this gradient but to get everything perfect we we are, we are going to add the color overlay as well to get it just like the gradients so this is the shade of orange we used and we click on it and we have the gradient effect on the rectangle as well so far so good but if you look at the the flyer you can tell that the s in the wishes is hidden behind and is hidden behind the background and something is hindering it so we are going to unlock the background and select this particular background and we select the brush change this to white and select the brush too so we need to convert it to a smart object which we agree and we click this yes so the the font is visible at this point we have successfully achieved our Mother's Day flyer like that in Photoshop. If this tutorial was educative, was fun, was informative, kindly like, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos of this nature. Until we meet again, I'm out.